Dear friends, Happy Feast Day of St. John Vianney to all the priests in the world. In this special day, let us pray for greater holiness for all priests and ask Jesus for more priestly vocations all over the world. This is Sister Catherine Bakay for today's reflection from the Gospel Power. Then, Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands before they eat. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. At the time of Jesus, the interpretation of purity by the scribes and Pharisees has been reduced to a simple matter of external hygiene, such as the observance of meticulous ceremonial washing before meals. Jesus' response to their criticism of his disciples' omission of this traditional cleansing by shifting the focus of discussion to the interiority of a person where true impurity is conceived, nurtured, and then externalized. Jesus clarifies that the issue of purity is a matter of the heart. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Colomson, pray for us. Mm -hmm. 